Welcome everyone to Supreme Ruler The Great War. This is a game that just got released. And I want to thank, first of all, Battleboat Studios, the developers, for sending me a key for the game. I have never played a Supreme Ruler game, and so I just wanted to try one now. And, well, uh, this is definitely a good uh, opportunity to do so. Now, I have never played a game of this kind. I've only skimmed over the manual, because this game does have a manual, thankfully. So I knew the basic, 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 basic way in which it's going to function, but obviously the first episode or two of this series that I'm going to be playing is going to be me getting, uh, getting a bit of a handle of the situation. That's pretty loud. Um, but yes, so if you're, if you're likely to be bored by that, you can probably skip it. So there's two modes, there's campaign and there's sandbox. Sandbox is uh, essentially a bit like you'd expect in Hearts of Iron. You can, well, yeah, I'm just going to be using Hearts of Iron as a reference. You can pick any country here and believe that's their GDP in a way. Eh, whatever. Uh, you can also change some settings. For example, you can increase the world volatility. And of course, you can set some victory conditions. And you can play as various different countries, obviously. Basically, everyone. Um, what I am going to do, though, for this playthrough is I'll play the campaign, which gives you objectives along the way. And I'll play as France, I think. Because of these five, I don't want to play Germany. I don't want to play UK. Eh, Russia. Eh, Austria-Hungary is annoying, and so I'll play France. <laughs> Essentially, that is the reason. These are the settings. Uh, let's put this to medium. I want to put like everything to like standard because I want to play the game sort of in a standard mode to see how it is. Okay, so there's all this stuff. That's fine. I don't think we'll get to nuclear weapons anytime soon. Okay. Uh, military difficulty, let's put that to normal. Economic difficulty to normal and diplomatic to normal. Scheduled game end, none. That is good. Allied victories, yes. Global AS stands default. Domestic approval. Okay, good. We can start. So, things have been difficult for France ever since the loss in the Franco Prussian War. Many of the French still remember this defeat and are eager for vengeance against the Germans. Revanchism. Uh, the unconditional German support of Austria-Hungary appears to have put Germany on a forced war with the Russian Empire, a French ally. France prepares to once again battle with Germany in hopes of regaining lost glory. So this is of course in 1914. And let's start. Get right into this. Oh, that's even louder. Let's reduce the volume. Okay, so let's see if I can... Nope. Okay, I wanted to get to options to reduce the volume. Can I get the pop-up back? Er, that is unfortunate. Oh, okay, world events. So, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated. And... Wait. Okay. I want to see the event. Um, I guess I did something wrong. And we have the League of Nations. We've spent many years trying to work with the other European powers to create a political climate that will reduce the aggression and conflict between nations. Germany and Austria-Hungary, however, seem unwilling to look for peaceful means to resolve differences. The assassination of the Archduke appears to have motivated the Austro-Hungarian aristocracy to push for greater expansion into the Balkans. This cannot be allowed. The Russians are sure to support the Serbs, and our defense treaty with Russia will require us to assist them. We can only hope that the German Kaiser can be persuaded to intervene and keep Austria-Hungary from going to war. Well, we are in June the 28th, so the date of the assassination, 1914. Let's pause this right off the bat. Okay, so we are France. That's, we are in uh, an alliance, it seems, with Russia, and we can see their territory. Okay, then we are in alliance with Great Britain. We control most likely lots of colonies in Africa. Yes, we do. 
seems like it's a little, little itchy. Okay, sorry, just had to do something. Uh, let's see if I can map ownership right. So this is the political map. Unfortunately, it seems like our color is the same as Spain's, so this could be very confusing. But at least uh, we are differentiated from Germany. That's good. So yes, uh, these are all our colonies, I see. Yes, uh, French, West Africa, etc. So they're actually not directly under our control, but they do belong to us overall, I'm guessing. Good. What is this meter? I do not know. Let's go back up. There's a weird fog here. I wonder if that's the weather. Um, I probably should turn that off. There's probably a way to see uh, the weather without that being on, but oh well. Daily figures and game menu. So this looks like our treasury. We have 238 million dollars. And that's... Okay, so this is the ledger with everybody. Okay. That's domestic approval, military approval, provocation, Cassus Belly. Okay, so these, I'm guessing, are essentially our diplomatic standings in a way. Yeah, the likelihood that they will attack us is medium, etc. Show high dead regions, colonies. Okay, so this is only for colonies. And this, oh, okay, this sorts it by, obviously, alphabetic order, treasury. Up here we have page one, page two, okay. This is GDP, so let's try to sort it by GDP. For some reason it seems like New Zealand has the highest GDP, even higher than Great Britain. Must be a bit of a ledger bug for the start. Population, of course China has the highest, British India, Russian Empire. Okay, I see, I see, I see how it is. This is debt, and this is treasury, okay. So right now we have a 40% domestic approval, 38% military approval, and we're pretty high when it comes to GDP, but population is low. What is this button? Entente leaning, and this one I'm guessing is central powers leaning, yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 I see. So this is the alliance system in a way. What are these map modes? Defensive terrain, so this is going to be mountains and hills, I'm guessing. M maybe more red equals better terrain. I do not know. Close combat, low visibility. Wait, hold on. Oh, map line of sight. Yeah, I probably want line of sight to be on. So close combat, low visibility, this is the areas where there's, again, probably more cover, so like forest, I see this is the Ardennes, this is the Vosges. And down here we have the Pyrenees, the Alps, so yes, this is the area in which there's more forested grounds. This is all the terrain ones, high ground for mountains. Garrisons, doesn't seem like this does anything. Map loyalty, this probably means... So it's like nationalities, because here there's Hungary. Then here there's... wait, what? Probably want this. Yeah, loyalty is to Hungary and not to Austria. Okay, okay, I see. That makes a lot of sense. And of course, we don't really have that many problems with that. Except probably here, I wonder if down here the loyalty should be French in Alsace Lorraine. Doesn't seem like it, so good for Germany. Map ownership, so that's the political map mode. Map supply, so these are going to be representing the areas in which we can actually supply our men. Although it doesn't really seem like we have any problems with that. I'm sure it would be red if I had supply problems. Battle zones... I do not know what this is supposed to do. <laughs> That's fine. Then theater. 
theater. This is Western Europe, Eastern or Central slash Eastern Europe slash Balkans, Eastern Russia. Okay. Map red. Okay, so these are the hexes, I'm guessing, because the map is hexes in this game. And water location, rivers. I'm guessing that these are um, good for transportation and they provide obviously a defender's advantage. Okay, so the map seems to be very detailed. Let's put back up onto political map mode. These seem to be units, right? Yeah, unit orders. How do I see what kind of units they are? Well, this is 10,000. Does tell me their number. 4,000. Okay, so these are the selected units. So it's infantry and recon cavalry. Okay. This is overall my units deployed. Seems like it. Selected units, deployed units, and we have also got reserve units. Can I get the camera to the unit name? Or to the unit where it is. Yeah, okay. Double click. So, for example, these guys are in Brest, up here to the west. Okay, so I'm guessing that these units that we can see on the map are the deployed ones. There is a guy with a pistol here. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, so these are the units that are deployed, and we have units in reserve. That is good. Okay, so understandable. Air transport, sea transport, so these are all the orders. Repair, reserve, and trench. Okay. I see how it is. That's the military side of things. Then we have all these tabs down here, which are going to be our like government, production, etc. So we have land. That's just uh, um, showing the stats of the land. That's the supplies. If I click, for example, I think on a city, we're going to have also the uh, buildings that we have, maybe. Yeah, goods, barracks, okay, so if I click on somewhere where there's buildings constructed, then it tells me what buildings there are, good. And of course, state, this, diplomacy, those, these are our rankings, I'm guessing, population, and these might be our, yeah, there's are the other countries. Guessing that if you want to like get treaties, then we do it this way. Cabinet, negoti yeah, negotiate with selective region, etc. Okay. Influence relations, sever severe actions. Oh, declarations of war. Support wars, condemn wars. Okay, I see. Espionage, diplomatic relations, facilities control. Not sure what this is, but that's fine. Okay, let's get back to France. This is allied regions, okay, and colonies. Okay, so this is entirely our diplomatic relations, and of course these are our enemies. And that's the approval rating, treaty integrity. So this is going to be our like infamy, I think. Okay, espionage. Oh, this is espionage. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm doing some kind of espionage here. Let's see, what kind of... Yeah, counterintelligence, that's fine. Uh, this is available spies. Spying spies on the map for missions. Okay. So what if I, like, selected Brussels on espionage? I wonder what's gonna happen. I do not know. Then we have... Doesn't seem like it actually did anything. Can't assign missions. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, okay, these are diplomatic relations. Of course we have our allies who are increased by the fact that there is all the colonies of Britain. And facility controls. Intelligence Academy, Security Bureau. Okay, so these are the facilities that are in this. So the offline scrap. No, I don't want to do any of that. This is the cabinet. That's the minister. He's a conservative for some reason. He has a British name. 
This position is neutral. Okay. This is the funding. That's fine. Finance. Domestic approval. Really likes to show me the domestic approval. Average social rating, overall tax rate. Okay. So this is all about expenditures. Mm, social spending is very low. Taxation is medium. Good. Resources. Production, actual use, stock, trades. Okay, so this is agriculture, rubber, timber, petroleum, coal, metal ore, uranium, and electric power. Okay, so these are the resources. Industry controls, industry output. Okay, so these are sliders that we can lower and increase. I'm not sure what they do yet, but that's fine. This is the consumption of food. Bulk sales, bulk purchases. This is all pretty fine. I can leave it as it is for now. I don't think it's that good or important yet. And this is research. Okay. This probably we need to take a little bit more. Era technology. Probably need to get a little bit more of a uh, good look at now. Okay, so it looks like you have land unit designs, infantry, engineer. Oh, get new infantry. Can even get tanks off already, somehow. It says it's only going to take 11 days, but I'm guessing that's wrong. <laughs> uh, airship interceptor. Probably get ourselves some kind of aircraft. I wonder what the differences are between these. Uh, personnel weight. Is there any way I can keep that on? Nope. I'm guessing that those values are the attack values, and they all seem to be pretty much the same. So let's get the one that's the cheapest, of course. I'm probably doing something wrong, but that's fine. Okay. Get that in. Of course, it seems like we have a limit of free research, research slots, but that is fine. I'm just going to put things in uh, queue. So these are the ones that are a prerequisite for units, the ones were marked that way. Commercial refrigeration. Wonder what these do. Doesn't even seem like it has any effects, but it probably leads to more effects later on. And it also has a year. Okay, so for example, this one is 16. <laughs> Year 16, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Oh, I'm guessing it's 1916, right? Probably makes sense. 1915, 1913, 1908, probably? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 1920, 1916, okay, good. Transportation, yeah, Jet Engine Furies, 1913 somehow. 1914 is monoplane construction. That should give us something eventually. Yeah, it's going to give us more things for that. Okay, so this is 1919. Submarine mass production. Uh, probably don't need that yet. And so do these interceptors have a date? Yes, they do. 1915, 1915, 1915, 1915. Okay, makes a lot of sense now. Patrol. Maybe we can get those. 1915. 1909. Let's get with that. Okay. Capital ships. So we can research ships as well. Transport. 
you're 1920. Okay. Okay, so the re uh, recon, what, or whatever. <laughs> the screen. Okay, this actually tells me that I cannot research this because I don't have that technology for land worships. The research seems very, very strange, but I think I'll get around with it. 1915, 1910, let's get that 1910 howitzer. I'll just queue up everything so that I don't in any way like forget about it. Society, yeah, okay. So this is all of the available research. Technology races. Oh, this is going to be later, I'm guessing. Known technologies. So these are technologies that we know. Easy peasy. Facility controls. This is my research center, of course. Uh, can I, like, increase the funding in some way? Regionally owned. Put a facility offline. Build a facility. We can... Build new facilities. Yeah, it seems like we can build these new facilities. Let's cancel that. And so I'm trying to build a new research center at a minister suggested location, so in southern France. That's fine, let's do it. That was research, defense production, production queue. Doesn't really seem like I can produce anything. Okay, so these are the units that I can produce. I can produce infantry, armored cars. Wonder which the which of these armored cars is better. Seems like. Okay, so the more. Yeah, the further down you go, the better the unit. Right. Seems so. Let's put some people into production. Like that. Um, it says zero out of three, so I'm gonna produce three units at a time. Land auto build. Is it inactive? But probably I should put it on. Uh, let's definitely put the navy auto build on. Missiles. I don't think we have any missiles, or no, we're gonna have any long long time okay so this tells me which like yeah it tells me which priorities I should have for building okay this is peace a lot of merchant marine to pass through neutral reasons allow new air units to pass over neutral reasons this might might piss off people but I don't really care Allow the use of rail transport. Nuclear weapons, that's not important yet. This is theater controls. That's just... Espionage priority, okay, okay, I see. Structure auto repair, let's enable that. And I do not know what garrisons are, but let's maximize them. It's doing everything right now. Okay. Then let's put other ships like these into production. I'm guessing that, again, eh, maybe. These probably are just cruisers, right? Yeah, okay. Here it seems like the... Upper you go, the better. Yeah, these are older destroyers. And the more we go up, the better. So let's put that into production, and then of course we should probably do capital ship like this. So that, that, and oh. What is this? Transports, but they're different. Civilian cargo, and okay, let's just do that. Whatever. 
This is my aircraft screen. I do have aircraft that I can produce. So let's put patrol and tactical bombers. We do not really have a lot of aircraft in, in you know, possession. We have two tactical bombers and looks like 14 recon planes. Okay, it seems like we are mostly done. This is defense. That's just for the units and orders. Global rules engagement, that is all fine. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the first episode in which I found out about everything. Next up, something actually happens. See you soon.